everyone, this is Carol. Welcome to the official channel Video Pro Vlogger. In today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a video intro with the ink effect only use a few still image. Before we get started, make sure free download the software with the link we put in the description box down below. Alright, let's get into today's video. If you want to have a unique video intro, you need to pay attention to one thing, and that is the bit sync added. Launch a software, create a new project, and import a background music to the media library. Drag it to the audio track. Here we have two ways to add it to the beat. One is to click on the audio icon in the toolbar to open the audio editor. And in here, select Analyzer, which will bring us to the audio analyzer interface. Choose a proper analyzer for your music. Well, for more detailed use about three analyzers, you could go check out the related video made in our channel, and I will put a link in the top right corner. Another way is to follow your perception on the beat. Play the music and pause at a rhythm beat. Use a shortcut M to create a mark. In the end, use split tool to cut out the unwanted music in the latter part. Add a fade out effect in the inspector at the top right. Well, this is how we process and add the music. Now, we import the pictures and transition materials. Drag the full image to the video track in a certain order. Adjust duration in turn so that each picture could perfectly match to the beat. This way, they come to develop the main video image. Play and preview. We can see clearly there is already a prototype but rather simple and tedious. And this is where the light effect video comes to add. As a transition to add richness between each image as they switch to one another. Drag the video to the overlay track. Adjust the size so that it could spread all over the screen. Drag the playhead and quickly brow through the fact. Here you can see a white screen effect in this frame. Well, use a shortcut N to stamp a mark to the clip. Move it to the position corresponding to the switching point and also the sinking point. Duplicate the mark and add a similar effect to this point here. Again, adjust the mark to match one another. Let's check the result. Let's turn the static background with solid color into a dynamic in the fact background. And at the same time, add other elements to the video clip. Import the media files with the ink effect and the dust effect. Here, one thing you need to pay attention to is that the background of the files you import should be better in pure color. This will be helpful in later editing. Come to the leftmost side of the overlay track. Find a plus icon, click it to add another overlay track. Drag and drop the two effects to the track. Well, make sure the switching point between the two effects correspond to that between the image. Also, adjust the size in the preview window to spread it all over the screen. Come to the inspector on the right. Find blend mode. We use it here to turn the ink effect to something dynamic. Select the color dot. Come to the preview window and you can see how it turns out. Well, this is a little bit too much, but that's fine. Let's adjust the exposure and contrast. Now it's perfect. We will do the same with the second ink effect. 
When we are done, we add another overlay track and import a dust effect material to the track. Then we add to it a screen mode effect here in the blend mode. That's it. In addition, we have created a series of tutorials about how to work with the blend mode effect in our channel. Feel free to check that out. We have added a dynamic background with the ink effect to the video, but the overall footage would turn out pretty stiff if the main image of the video is static. Now, we click the motion editor in the toolbar to add a little zooming effect. Here, choose zoom in. It generates two keyframes. Click the second keyframe, adjust the parameter and all that. Then drag it to the last frame of the footage. Click Apply. Then we add a zoom out. Move right. And move left effect to the last three images. And the whole video would then be a lot more interesting and dramatic. And of course, one thing can never miss in the opening credits is the text. With the video proc, you need to drag the playhead to the point where you wish to add a text. Then find the text icon in the toolbar. Click it, and you will see a new text clip is created in the subtitle track. Then go to Inspector on the right to further add it a text content, font, size, and corner. Scroll down, and you can add it a text shadow. One tip you can work with here is to find a text animation and add appear and disappear effect with which the text will come out more natural and smoother. Once you have finished all these edits, duplicate the text effect to the beginning of the video. Modify a little the text content, position and all that. This way, you can quickly add two text effects. Alright, now you have reached the end of today's video about how to create a video intro with ink effect in Video Pro Vlogger. I think you've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you soon in our next tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.